All right, everyone. In this video, I want to talk MSDO, mandibular symphysial distraction osteogenesis. That is a surgical procedure. Yes, you will require a surgeon, an orthognathic surgeon to do this, not an orthodontist, an orthognathic surgeon. It's a surgical procedure in which the mandibular symphysis, which is the midline of your mandible, is surgically cut, and then a distractor, similar to the MSE, is installed between both sides of the cut, or rather, across both sides of the cut. You turn that, uh, you turn that distractor on a daily basis for a couple of weeks, and it expands your mandible out like this. Okay, so it's gonna, it's gonna open up your jawline, it's gonna widen your chin, it's gonna widen your bite, because it's gonna take the teeth with it. And it's often done, well I shouldn't say often, but it has been done to complement MSE maxillary expansion. Why? Because the MSE expands the maxilla significantly in the transverse direction. And so the MSDO can do a similar thing for the mandible. It's not exactly the same, but it's the, the same general direction to help offset a crossbite that may be created by the MSE, which means that if you only expand the upper without expanding the lower, your upper teeth get wider than your lower teeth and you lose your bite. Why would someone do the MSDO? Well, because you need to be able to bite. You're not shit unless you have decent occlusion. Occlusion is critical for, well, chewing. Yeah, you gotta eat, you gotta chew your food. Masticating food is very important. It is. Um, Horace Fletcher has the best books on this. They're written in the early 1900s. It's called Fletcherism, okay? Fletcherism, it, it's the idea that masticating the food assists digestion. The more refined the fuel is by masticating it, by salivating it, by tasting it thoroughly, by breaking down the food into smaller pieces, the better it will be digested and therefore assimilated. And of course, Horace Fletcher back then had all sorts of miraculous stories about illnesses he cured just by masticating his food more thoroughly and he had broke all sorts of strength records for his age. I don't know about all that. He was born basically in my hometown, Lawrence, Mass. So I, you know, respect to Horace. Um, you know, he's my dog. But uh, you know, Fletcherism is interesting, and you can't Fletcherize if your bite is shit. So why MSDO? Well, to correct your bite after aggressive MSE expansion. I've had bad occlusion since doing MSE, really, um, especially on the left side where I had more expansion on the upper. MSDO is a quick fix to the crossbite caused by MSE. Well, you could say, why not just correct that crossbite orthodontically by moving teeth? A few reasons. It's slower. It's not a good thing to move teeth. Why? Because the teeth, moving teeth is like uprooting a tree that you planted in the ground. Every time you uproot it, every time you dig it out and move it to a new location, you're fucking it up a little bit. Okay, you're weakening it, you're depriving it of its soil, you're, 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 you're disturbing it, you're pissing it off. Moving teeth is like that. They're not just here for you to beat the crap out of them, all right? Trust me, I've done that. I've beaten the crap out of my teeth and I've paid for it. They're mad at me right now. In my upper front teeth, they, I beat the shit out of them so bad with the aga that I had to get a surgery to try to repair them and I'm not even sure it's gonna work, right? So anytime you can move teeth at the level of the bone, rather than orthodontically, it's better, it's more stable, it's safer. So rather than messing with, like what I'm doing, expanding my lower teeth with Invisalign after MSE treatment, you could just hit them with the MSDO and then tighten up the diastema created by the MSDO after. That's a major, these are major advantages of MSDO. Safety, you know, preventing damage to the teeth, and then, <clears throat> Stability. Orthodontic tooth movement is notorious for being unstable. Unstable. That's why people wear retainers for the rest of their lives after they do orthodontics. And then when you know you don't wear your retainers for, your, for a few nights, and now all of a sudden the retainer doesn't fit, and then most people are too lazy to go get new retainers, and so their shit just falls apart. That happened to me. You know, permanent retainers, wires behind the teeth help, but yeah, that's the idea, right? Like you need permanent retention of orthodontic tooth movement. So <clears throat> the other major advantage of MSDO, it's gonna it's gonna provide a, an aesthetic complement to the MSE. 
Now this might not be necessary for everyone. Maybe when you started MSC, your upper was narrower than your lower, and then the MSC made the upper equal to the lower. I don't know. You have to find out. You have to do some soul searching, and you have to analyze your own facial dimensions. But for those people who expand aggressively with the MSE, and they were equal when they started, they're going to have a ballooned upper, right, from the MSE. It's going to be wider than the lower. MSDO will help offset that. It'll help widen the bone structure of the lower to give you a more balanced face. That's an aesthetic advantage of MSDO. It widens your jawline, especially if you did MSE, so that you don't have that top-heavy aesthetic which I see a little bit in myself, and I've seen it in others. Now on to the disadvantages of MSDO. Number one, it's surgical. That sucks. You gotta cut your bone. You gotta pay a surgeon. You gotta deal with the surgeon. You gotta get a surgeon to coordinate with your orthodontist. All that's a pain in the ass, okay? You gotta get your orthodontist to agree to doing it, because he's probably gonna tell you, oh, it's not necessary, we can just move your teeth. But like we talked about, moving teeth sucks, but that's what orthodontists do. They move teeth. So obviously that's what he's going to want to do. He's going to want to move your teeth rather than send you in for the elegant surgical procedure. What, what, what other disadvantages of MSDO? It probably hurts like a bitch. Yeah, I'm sure it does. But you know what? Moving teeth, expanding teeth with, with, with expanders orthodontically, that sucks too. You have the pain of wearing that appliance for a year or whatever it's going to take for you to move those teeth. And then all the pain of wearing the retainer. So pain, eh, not a big deal in my opinion. Surgical pain is temporary. Do a little fasting, you know, maybe take one or two, you know, prescribed painkillers that the doctor will give you. Nothing to worry about. A couple days, no big deal. MSE sucks for pain, but that's because you're splitting your skull open, right? This is a little bit more one and done. Big disadvantage of MSDO, or I shouldn't say disadvantage, but the limit of MSDO is the TMJ. Think about it. Use your common sense. If you're taking this and you're prying it open like you will with MSDO, what's that going to do for the joint, right? You're literally changing the angulation of your mandibular bone in the temporomandibular joint. So you can only expand so much before you take this and you start to angle it out of the joint. The rule of thumb, and you can Google this, MSDO, yada yada studies, every study talks about how far they expanded and tries to uh, an analyze what the effect was on the joint. And the gist of it is that, you know, the, the, the consensus seems to be that five to 10 millimeters of MSDO expansion is safe for the joint and will not result in side effects to the joint. The good thing is, bro, if you expand with MSDO, right, and you start to get joint pain, turn it back. Just turn it back to the point where there was no pain. Similar with MSE. I, when I was doing MSE, I expanded so much that I ended up getting a little bit of joint pain in one of the sides. And guess what I did? I just turned it backwards to the point where the, you know, the joint pain was gone. You can do that with, the, with these things. The good thing about distraction with distractors like the MSE and the MSDO that you adjust is that you can turn them to expand them, but you can also turn them backwards. You can turn them backwards, at least for a few weeks before they start to solidify. It's not like double jaw surgery where you go in, you go to sleep, you come out with plates that you can't tweak. No, you can tweak distractors. So if you get jaw pain, just turn it back. So I think that risk you know, the risk of disrupting the TMJs can be mitigated by um, conscientiousness with regards to your own pain. Monitor it, turn it back if it gets to be excessive. Anything else on this? Let me think. The, the one guy who I've seen do a lot of MSDO, and not, I, I haven't seen him do a lot. I've just seen him post about it on Facebook. His name is Sylvain Chamberlain, and he's in... Canada. He speaks French um, primarily. His website, I believe, is in French, but I've seen him do MSDO, MSE in conjunction with each other. So for him, at least, this is a kind of mainstream thing. And it's a very elegant pairing. It's a match made in heaven. The one thing that I did realize while looking into this 
is that remember the MS the way that the MSE expands and the way that the MSE the MSDO expands is not perfectly in sync. The MSE is kind of a parallel split, right? The MSE goes in the back of the maxilla and splits parallel. So your you know all of your maxilla is going to be an even split like Moses splitting the sea. But the MSDO is at the front, right? So it's going to be more of a Pac-Man split. It's going to be more of a Pac-Man split. So the front of your mouth will expand more than the molars. So it's not going to perfectly match the MSE. You're going to probably need a little bit of orthodontic movement of the molars, maybe, maybe some torquing um, of the upper and lower molars to get them to match perfectly. So be, do be aware of that, that you will probably need a little bit of orthodontic tooth movement in addition to the MSDO in order to perfectly complement that MSE expansion just to, due to the nature of the MSE split being parallel, whereas the MSDO split is more of a Pac-Man. So that'll be the last consideration that I'll mention, um, and I hope that satisfies your curiosity about advantages and disadvantages of the MSDO. Link in the description if you want to learn more about that procedure. Peace.